All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let's welcome our first fighter making his way to the cage, Tony Almeida. Tony Almeida. It's Sunday night here in Los Angeles at Club Nokia at LA Live for the University of Mixed Martial Arts. I'm Rich Slayton, joined by Larry Landless, calling this fight between Tony Omeda and Sergio Perez. First coming up now in the blue corner, Tony Omeda, the 21-year-old with a record of no wins and three losses. A late replacement here for tonight's fight. Yes, and a striker too. This guy told me he likes to do the liver shot. He likes that boss in style of Muay Thai. He wants to go in there and put on a liver shot or a head kick. So let's see if Tony can deliver. He's a single dad. His son, Sebastian Amuda Al Al Amada, is three years old. He wanted to give a shout out to his little boy. He's fighting for him. And uh, looks like we're gonna have some good stuff from this guy. Well, let's hope Tony acquits himself well here on behalf of his young son. Tony, like I said before, was a last minute replacement. Sergio Perez's opponent fell out. And with 48 hours notice, Tony himself reached out to U of MMA match, matchmaker Jay Tan and said, get me the taxi fare from Rosarito, <laughs> Mexico, up to San Diego, and I'll be there. Yes, yes. He had to uh, take taxi, train, bus, plane, he, he, but he made it. He's here and he's ready to fight. And his opponent making his way to the cage, Sergio the Kid Perez. And his opponent, Sergio Perez, the 23-year-old, making his debut out of Team Hyaston from North Hollywood. Yes, he fights with Gokar, and one of his uh, people he trains with is actually Carl Prezian and Manny Bamburian. Also, Karen, he's uh, he, his wrestling coach, Martin Barbarian. The Hyatson team, this guy comes from a really good pedigree background uh, of strikers and grapplers. Uh, he likes to win it by armbar. Well, Gokor, uh, a longtime high-level trainer, not to mention a fantastic judo practitioner himself. Judo ensemble, yes. The guy uh, brought it from Armenia, Russia, came to the United States, trained with Gene LaBelle, and uh, is, I've, I've worked with him a couple times in the past. I've gone to roll with him, and I've learned, every time I go, I learn something new. He's amazing, he's great, and he's a great person. I love seeing him fight, I love his fighters. Well, yeah, absolutely, surrounded by some great guys over there. And uh, girls. Girls, Ronda Rousey, of <laughs> Ronda course. Rousey. The judo master, Carl Parisian. Gegard Mousasi, another fantastic yes. guy from the highest on camp. Sergio Perez himself, lots of wrestling experience, took first at Jiu-Jitsu Worlds last year in Long Beach in the beginner's division. So some decent grappling pedigree coming from the camp of Sergio Perez. Yes, it's going to be a good fight. Uh, striker versus grappler. Uh, obviously, one's going to want it on the ground. The other's going to want it on the feet. So let's see how the strategies play out. It's nice watching it from this angle. Absolutely, the best seat in the house. To get this fight started, let's end up the cage with Salvador Ariano. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Our first fight of the evening is scheduled for three two-minute rounds at a catch weight of 150 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai and boxing practitioner. He steps into the cage with a record of no wins and three losses. Stands at five feet, seven inches tall and weighed in at 148 pounds. From Rosarito, Baja California, Mexico, Tony Almada. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Making his debut, he stands at five feet, five inches tall, and weighed in at 148 pounds. Fighting with the highest on MMA Academy from North Hollywood, California, Sergio the Kid Perez. Man in charge of the action, Sean Wells. Three two minute rounds coming here at this 150 pound catch weight between Tony Omada in the blue corner and Sergio Perez in the red corner. This is the University of Mixed Martial Arts. It's round number one. 
it starts here. Fighter ready. Fighter ready. Go, Sergeant Joe. Fight! A couple quick feints here from Ahumada to open up. Yeah, he's trying to keep him at length. Uh, it looks like uh, we're, we're trying to, it looks like Sergio's trying to close this up a little bit, keep it close, trying to get a clinch. Uh, using a jab well there. Uh, Tony's uh, obviously uh, wants it on the feet. Tony on his bicycle, and now we see why Sergio putting him back on the map. I don't blame him. <laughs> if I was in the same position, that's exactly what I'm uh, Working the side mount here. Uh, if he wants to get past that knee, we'll be okay. That check will be effective there. We'll see some of the ground game here of Tony Almada. Tony training down as an independent fighter in Southern California and Rosarito, Mexico. But Tony came here tonight with no corner man. Long time of MMA fighter Ryan Lilly stepping in to corner the young guy. Yeah, that's the way it is with these guys, man. You know, good sportsmen, good, you know. We're trying to help each other out. It's all about the sport, you know. We're, everybody just loves the sport so much. And we pull for each other. Neon belly now here from Sergio Perez. Yeah, he's, he's got some space now. He's got some space now. Tying him up a little bit and gum it up. If he doesn't get something offensively gone, the ref will restart this. Remember with those two minute rounds here, not to mention also amateurs, refs are a little quicker with these younger fighters to make a change, either stand them up or also to step in if the fighters are dangerous. Yes, um, actually to give the judges more evidence to work with as far as scoring goes. If a guy just holding somebody down for two minutes, it doesn't really work out. Oh, we have an armbar attack. His legs aren't in the right place. He's just tying them up here. Very active working that high guard here is Tony Omada. Oh, he's, he's, he's gumming up the works, you know. He's, he's, he's not moving that <laughs> past that shoulder, but obviously he has some training. He's either going for an armbar or trying to cinch a triangle, which is a pretty smart, pretty smart play on his part for being in the position he's in. So round number one in the books. Let's go to our unofficial scorecard. Larry Landless, how you have it? I got to go 10-9 with uh, uh, Sergio. I mean, it's it's obviously he got the takedown, and none of those um, – arm bars or uh, triangle, whatever he was trying to do, none of them cinched up, and you can't score that unless he actually locks it. Just because he's locking his ankles behind the guy's neck, you really can't give him credit for that. That's survival. You gotta survive. You know, you're in the fight. The guy on top uh, got the takedown, not to say that just because he gets a takedown, but uh, he put it where he needed to be, and he you know, did enough striking, if you want to call it. Had side mount at one point. He, he's, he definitely won this round. I'd say it's a close 10-9, but Definitely want it. So what should we hope to see from Tony here in round number two? Same as that, same as before. Uh, he needs to use that jab, keep him at arm's length, and uh, try and tag him with something, hurt him. Move to the side, kind of like you, you tag and move off his lead leg. You don't want to move into the lead leg because you're running into his power. You want to move off it. Fighter ready. And it kind of ready. Fight. reminds me of the old uh, Murray Smith when he fought Coleman. He would strike and move to that to that leg and strike yeah, yeah, into the yeah, leg, yeah, yeah. and it worked brilliantly because uh, he took away his game. The second round of the dominated his strikes. Tony Almada on his bike again, trying to move, throwing that jab with that right hook coming after it. But so far, Sergio Perez doing a good job of rolling out of danger. Yeah, he likes the body. He he told me he likes he likes the body, and he's showing he's going for it. But he needs to keep that jab moving. He's got to get, he's right, like right there. He's got to make him afraid to come in. Good level change here from the team highest on Sergio Perez, ducking under, trying to keep Tony in the same place as last time. And a big slam here. To a side mount. The key point is that the big slam and to the side mount is what, what judges are looking for. You know, he got a better position out of it. Right now, he's getting into the guard. Uh, yep, he's in the guard. Let's see if Tony can work that same high guard he was working for at the end of round number one. Yeah, he needs to get climbing up, up the shoulders. He's uh, down there locked. You're not offensive. When you open it is when you're offensive. And it looks like he's trying to get it up around the ankle. Three big four, five, six. Lots of big right hands here that from one Sergio landed. Perez. Yep, that one landed. Uh, threw a lot of punches, but only I want to say two or three of those landed. And okay. now an attempt from the bottom here <laughs> by Tony Almada. Yeah, he's a fighter. If you come from Ensenada, 
You are a fighter. You, there's no doubt about it. Got him back in the guard. Tony eating some big shots here, but still remaining very composed as the 21-year-old. Yes, but Sergio's definitely um, winning this fight at this point. He's he's better positioned. He's, he's throwing the, the right strikes from the top. He landed the bigger shots. Uh, you know, Tony, uh, Tony's in survival mode. Sergio's the one that's uh, taking care of the situation here. Nope. Bodybuilding.com, the world's number one online supplement the store with the best selection and nine. fastest shipping. Check them out at bodybuilding.com. So right now, I can't see any judges giving it to the other guy. I just, you know, it just wouldn't be a good bet. So where do you see Tony having the biggest chance to turn this fight around? He has to get a finish, but do you yeah. think it's going to be on the feet, or do you think you've seen enough from on the ground it's that he can? definitely got to be on the feet. He's got to throw a one high kick. He's got to tag the guy high. He's got to make the guy's ears bang and hopefully chase it. Um, a lot of times, a lot of good strikers get that body shot, and the body shot's really underrated for some reason, but when you see good guys fight, the body shot opens up bigger things. You know, you get a good body shot, and you see him leaning in there and trying to stick that jab into the body, and uh, <clears throat> there's a reason for it. it. It opens things up. It takes the wind out of the sails, and then the guy kind of bends over and puts him closer to that kick to the head. Round number three on your way for this catch weight affair between Sergio Perez in the red corner, Tony Omada in the blue corner. Third and final seconds round. seconds remain to decide the fate of these two young fighters. Yep, Tony definitely needs to get busy. He's definitely losing. He needs to close this fight with a knockout. Winning the round isn't going to do it. He needs a knockout. Yep. Sergio stalking Tony again, circling, trying to keep space. Or he's circling to the correct location, to the right. When you lead him with the left leg, you got to circle to the right. And uh, there we go. Body shot. Nope, he should not have closed. He should have just kept that space. <clears throat> and here we are again. Same yep. story as the first two rounds. Sergio Perez working on top. Yeah. Um, uh, Sergio is not getting harmed at this point. He is he is riding side mount. It seems unlikely that he's going to get finished with an armbar, working with the likes of Manning and Burry. And, and uh, now into the mount, Carl Sergio yes. Perez. Yes, and those are landing. Those are big shots. He's got his back. Hooks are in. Sergio Perez now looking to finish this fight. Can he get that rear naked choke in? Yep, he's lifting it up. Looks like he's getting a position. We got it. We got that. And there you have it, folks. Round three submission victory out of Team Hyastan in North Hollywood, Sergio Perez. His debut, a perfect one, moving from no and no to one and oh. Yep, yep, he's on, he's on a roll. <laughs> that reminds me, when I used to play baseball when I was a little kid, I threw a no-hitter. Oh, yeah. I walked everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to do it. Yep. Win one fight and you're undefeated. So, obviously, a nice victory for Sergio Perez. Were there any spots for him you'd like to see him improve his game? <clears throat> striking. He definitely needs to work on striking a little more. He really should look a little intimidated uh, going off the strike. He was backing up, backing up, just dropping, changing his level and catching him. It's an old wrestler's trick. You're in a smaller cage. It's easy to catch. Um, Tony was a little too eager to come in uh, and, and try to finish him when he caught that body with the kick. But... Um, you know, that's the way you catch him. That's, that's what a wrestler does. In one word, what would you change for Tony? Striking. Oh, for Tony, I'm for Tony. sorry. Yeah, for Tony, he definitely needs to work on uh, uh, not being taken down. <laughs> Some defensive wrestling Some work. Some defensive wrestling, Might yes. help shore up the game of Tony Omada. Tony did, in a couple of changes, did look pretty good. He was willing to strike, wasn't afraid of the fist coming at his face. Yeah. Tony didn't seem, well, it, to be honest with you, uh, Tony was not afraid of being struck. You know, he, he should have just, you know, just let those hands go a little more. Let those hands go a little more. You know, you could stay in the pocket, but let those hands go. A lot of times, these guys get too eager and they close. They get too close. Russell just changes his level and he doesn't even have to shoot. You fall right into his arms. So one more word for Tony might be patience. Patience. Well, here we go, two young fighters. A fantastic start to our night. For our official decision, let's go to the cage with Salvador Ariano. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the third man in the ring, Sean Wells, brings a fight to halt. One minute, 
One second into the third round, your winner by way of tap out due to a rear naked choke out of the red corner, Sergio the Kid Perez. Sorry about that, folks. All right, I'm here with Sergio Perez, who just won his first ever fight, his debut fight. How are you feeling, Sergio? I'm feeling great, man. I feel so this is where I belong right here. It's only going to get better and better. I promise. You had a last-minute opponent change. Did that change your approach here tonight? Um, not at all. You know, it's, bad. it's like I'm always told at the gym, it doesn't matter who you're fighting. You shouldn't change your style. It's happened before a couple times, so of course it's disappointing, but uh, you got to keep fighting. Well, you adapted really well. You put on a great performance, and I think you proved a lot tonight. Anyone you want to thank? Yes, uh, everybody out here. I want to thank everybody here, my family, my friends, my girlfriend, everybody, all the fans over here. That means a lot. You know, I have no idea. Everybody at highest on, every single person who ever grappled with, especially my, my, my coaches right here, Coach Sensei and Karin, Ara, everyone here. It means a lot to me that you guys all showed up. I really do. Congratulations, and best of luck in the future. Your winner by a round three rear naked choke, Sergio Perez.